Okay, if you don't have advanced software for taking screenshots, something like Snagit, you need to use, if you're using a PC, you can use the snipping tool. And I'm going to briefly show you how to use this. So I'm showing you this on a Windows 10 machine. If you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, you ought to be able to search for this. So I'm just going to click this little search button and type in snipping tool. And there it is. I'm going to select it. Okay, when it comes up, we can do new and we can just do rectangular snips. Only pull something in here and take a screenshot of it. Okay, so if I wanted to take a snip of this box plot here, I can click new snip and then it creates those crosshairs and I just drag this out. And there it is. And so I can take that and save it and then navigate on your computer where you want this. Mine's in my Dropbox courses, this particular course, images, and then you can put it in a folder or something. I'm just going to call it box plot example and press save. Okay, so now that is there. There are some shortcut keys for this and I'll give you a URL that you can go to for additional instructions on how to use a snipping tool. And I'll let me go ahead and finish this up with you. Some of you are having a little bit of trouble of posting this into the discussion board. Okay, so I'm going to do start a new thread. You can give it a name. I'm just going to call mine sample one, maybe RRA2. Okay, so in these threads, I've asked you to put the title of the article, um, a URL to the article, and a why you think it's interesting, and then a snapshot of the article. Okay, and we often will use APA when we're including the title of the article. Now, I like that. A lot of you have been doing that. Put a link to the article. A couple of you have been putting links to the file on your hard drive. And then put a little description on about the article and why you think it's um, interesting and anything about the particular statistic that you're posting. And now let's insert the image that we took. And so we can do insert image. And then I can upload it or I can browse forward on the computer. So images and box plot examples, what I would called it. There it is. And I click add, give it as alt text. So here we go. And there's the image. And now it makes it really easy for me and others to view the particular statistical topic that we are referring to. And I will almost always click on the article and read that to make sure that it's um, sort of in context. And sometimes I can add some additional context for you guys when I'm doing that. So make sure you're able to do that. So the snipping tool and the Mac has something similar. I can't create a video for that, but you can Google that. Maybe I'll provide a URL on a help on how to create a snapshot in the Mac.